Hey everybody, this is Meyer, and in this video, this is the mid bass sound we're going to be making from scratch. Uh, if you guys saw the last video, we made a sub, and I'm going to go ahead and put that sub in there. But first, I find sometimes it can be helpful to have a little bit of a groove in your track before trying to do any sound design on the mid basses, just so you kind of know what the sound you're going for is. So take a listen to this loop that I made. Very basic. I made this in like maybe five minutes. Consists of this kick which is out of the Dave Parkinson. I think it's one of the Dave Parkinson. That's actually from the, an Adam Ellis uh, sample pack, actually. The clap is from the reorder sample pack. And I'm just realizing now we should start it right there so there's no delay. Uh, just a couple loops. This one's also from an Adam Ellis pack. And then these next two, I think, are from Activa packs. Yeah, Activa's first pack. So all together. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the sub in. And I plan on using this, um, this kind of little loop for building up the entire... I guess the entire, uh, uh, all these sound design tutorials, so we can kind of keep building it up. So if I go in here, the, the patch that we made for the sub was this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pencil it in. Oops. So there's the sub. And as we did in the last video, we can adjust this mod one to make it fit with the phase. Cool. So let's go on to creating a mid bass. So I've Initialize this patch from scratch. Let me go ahead and hit the initialize button. And there are a lot of ways when you have the pattern, what you can do. Um, one of the things you can do is you can do the most basic being like three sixteenth notes like this. You can also do things where you bring them up an octave. And usually this is what you, what you see as your traditional like rolling bass line would be something like this. Of course, with the right sound. Let me go ahead and start with this pattern. Um, I'm actually going to take it and I'm gonna put it on a new pattern. That way we can, whoops. Just put it across here and deal with it like so. So let's get into creating the sound. Now I find that the most important thing when designing your mid bass is the filter envelope. So you have a lot of options for your oscillator, you have a lot of options for uh, your amplitude envelope and all these things, but the most important is getting this filter envelope to close 
and make it both snappy and tight, but also full. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close the filter and if you notice, by default, envelope three is mapped to cut off one. And this needs to go down. And that's starting to take a little bit of shape. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump up the voices and I'm gonna give it a little bit of width. And one of the things that can be helpful too is for envelope four, um, I'm gonna just take it and I'm gonna make it really short and I'm gonna map that to, to the filter cutoff as well, just a little bit so it has a little bit of attack at the beginning. And here's where we can play a little bit with the um, the amplitude envelope. Now one of the things that's gonna happen here is this is starting to interfere a little bit with the sub bass. So I could take it out with the parametric EQ. I can also use the EQ here in Spire and just take the low end out. I'm gonna turn that multiband compressor on. And a couple things, maybe I'll add a little bit of delay. Um, I like having delay on each individual. Sometimes I'll put it on the bus, but sometimes it's I like having it on each individual channel. So maybe I'll do uh, 3 sixteenths and eighth notes. Just give it a little bit of width. And finally, I may play around with the wave shaper just to give it a little bit of drive. Maybe boost the high end. And sometimes it can be helpful to add a little bit of noise. If you do use the noise oscillator, I like turning this key track off. That way the noise doesn't map with the key. And to get high pass noise, you can just move control A over. Now, if you notice, this baseline isn't being re-triggered. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy oscillator one onto oscillator four, turn oscillator four up, and I'm gonna just use one voice here, and I'm gonna re phase re-trigger it.
And I like the way this cutoff one amount sounds. Um, so I'm actually gonna map that to the mod wheel. And I'm gonna do envelope four, amount one as well, because when this is closed, I don't think we need all this attack either. Now we need to mix this in. We can do it with the volume knob or we can just do it with the mixer. And that's sounding pretty good. And that's with just one mid bass. So usually what you do for your tracks is have multiple. I think I like the way that this sounds. And at this point, this is where you can have a little bit of fun playing around with these notes. So you can go. You can also shorten the notes a little bit. I'm holding Alt and dragging the ends. And this is where it can be helpful to just have an LFO tool on here. Um, just so you kind of get the, get that sound, that pumping sound. So just tweaking the sound, tweaking the amplitude envelope um, and some of the other parameters. Um, one of the things I find that some producers do, and I used to do this a lot too, is when EQing the sound, is taking out so much of the low end and boosting the high end that you lose the mid energy. You actually want some of that low energy. So if you were to EQ this, what you'd wanna do is do a high pass filter. but you don't want to do that. Which you could also technically do with this EQ.
Anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. What I am going to do is I'm going to take this base and I'm going to save it in my Spire Bank um, under the name mid base full stack and if you like this sound and you just didn't want to follow along or you want a bunch of the others these other mid bass sounds that I've made uh, definitely check out my spire bank which has a bunch of different mid basses it may not be out the time this video comes out but it will be out hopefully shortly see you guys in the next video